my typical day where I would see patients. Um, I usually get into work at about 7.30 in the morning, um, and I have about an hour before my patients start arriving, and that's a good time for me to get some writing done. Because I do a lot of different things, I actually only see patients for basically two half days a week. Our clinic is a few miles away from the hospital, so it's not right in the hustle and bustle of, of all the emergencies that happen at the hospital. It's out in its own sort of quieter location, but it's a whole building full of neurology clinics. And so when people come in to see me, they come to this sleep clinic piece of that clinic. And so we usually have about three or four sleep doctors in clinic at a time. I will spend anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour with people talking about how they sleep, how they don't sleep, how they feel during the day, trying to get to the bottom of, of what's going on with their sleep. We diagnose sleep disorders in lots of different ways. Some of them you can figure out just by talking with somebody. Do they have this problem or do they not have the problem? But a lot of the diseases need testing of sleep. So people will come back on a different day, they'll come in at night to our same sleep center, and a, a sleep technician will put on many, 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 many sensors. So there's about a dozen wires that get attached with little paste to their scalp, um, and there's a little sensor to look at breathing that goes on the face. Um, there's a couple of, of bands around the chest and the abdomen to look at breathing. There's little sticky wires on the chest and on the arms and on the legs. And so it can be tough for people to fall asleep at first when they're in a strange environment and they've got all this stuff on. But people you do usually sleep in the sleep lab. The technologist watches them sleep all night and, and adjusts things and, and so on. And then in the daytime, I get to look at all of the data that's been collected about their brain waves and their breathing and everything else and put that together with what I learned from them when I saw them in clinic to come up with a diagnosis. Often it's a medication that people need prescribed, and so I'll prescribe that to them. But sometimes there's things that people can do um, to help sleep better, like not looking at their phones right before they go to bed. <laughs> And things like that. So sometimes it's talking about, about issues like that. And then sometimes if it's a breathing problem, there are machines that people will use at home to help to help with their breathing. So I kind of talk people through how that's how that's gonna work.